Team Ashva is here to present the case study on Gold Star Shoes. The team members are Bibek Bhattrai, Brokers Kansakar and Susmita Timulsina. Please make your way onto the stage. A quarter of an hour is all you got. And they are being instructed with the mic. Hello. And we begin. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, before I begin, I'd like to thank Gloco for providing us this wonderful platform. We are Team Ashwa, and our case study is on Gold Star Shoes. Well, Gold Star Shoes is a brand of shoes which is a market pioneer, and it also is a market leader in the current uh, market in footwear industry in Nepal. It was established way back in 1970s by Noor Pratap Rana, and it has always been known to be very affordable, very comfortable, and durable. And recently, it has also been uh, known to be very stylish. It is also in fashion, and it also is also known for its elegance as well. So all the credit for this goes to the current leadership of the visionary duo, Mr. Amit Pratap Rana and his wife, Mrs. Vidushi Rana. Uh, and it has also expanded itself to different various markets uh, in the world, such as America, Australia, Malaysia, Japan, and even Bahrain. And they have at least 80 franchises all over the world. And because of this particular reason, we have chosen the theme of international expansion, international connectivity for our case study. And they have actually uh, embodied the uh, tale of uh, rise, fall, and revival in the truest sense. And despite facing a lot of problems in the past, they have always um, emerged victorious to all of these problems and truly risen like a phoenix. Uh, so the very first problem that Gold Star faced was during the Maoist revolution where it got associated with the Maoist because uh, Maoist favored it over any other brand of shoes because of, because of its affordability, comfortability and durability. And because of this particular reason, Gold Star was even discouraged by the government to produce the products and out of no choice, it started exporting its products to India and after a certain time, it started exporting almost 80% of its products uh, to India and this was particularly uh, really uh, um, uh, beneficial for Gold Star as it uh, created a new market for itself uh, and it was all going fine but when 2015, uh, ladies and gentlemen, where Nepal hit a mega earthquake and because of this particular reason, they could not get enough employees for them. And uh, we can also see in the next slide that uh, this is the World Bank data and it shows that after 2015, the export of uh, the, the, the uh, products footwear decreased and the major contributor was Gold Star at that point in time. Uh, uh, so, so because of this particular reason, it faced a lot of challenges and also because of the demonetization of, by the Indian government and also the economic blockade. This also faced, uh, because of this, uh, goals are also faced huge challenges and problems. But uh, here comes Mrs. Vidushi Rana and she introduced the G10 series and with her amazing marketing strategies, it, st it started again doing really amazing in the market and then it again took the market lead and tr uh, she truly revived the brand as well. Uh, so the current problem that Goldstar is facing is the unfair competition from the counterfeit products, the uh, products which are illegally smuggled uh, to Nepal from the different uh, parts, uh, especially from the open border from India. So because of this particular reason, it has faced a lot of troubles. And as we mentioned earlier, so it, uh, the modes of entry uh, were actually ex exporting and also greenfield investment in India uh, to, to expand its operation. And also the franchisee, as I mentioned earlier, 80 franchises all over the world. And we've also used astability analysis uh, to, to really, uh, so I also mentioned the solution just now. Uh, so, uh, for the, at the Astor Blue analysis, I'd like to call my friend Sushmita Timbal Sita. I'm going to talking about the uh, gold star strength and weakness. It is an establishment. It, uh, it is an establishment brand. It is known for quality, durability, comfort, and its style. It's the brand image ko currently gorda as a gold star. You ba dehi brida saman ma look priye huna puge ko sa. Ra another is diverse pro range of product. Gold star ko casual, formal ra um, sports shoes aru san. Ra another is the sufficient manufacturing. Uh, Infrastructure. Go star ko. Ka fundo ma. Yo, pa India ma yota manufacturing san. is the employment opportunity and women's empowerment. Go star le. body mani sarlay employment dinu ka saath hai is ma seventy percent mahila haru karir san. Just le 
जिससे महिला फाइनेंसियली रूप से इंडिपेन्डेन्ट भैया रोदरी टकिंग अबाउट द विकनेस अफ दि गोल्ड स्टार इट हेज द लिमिटेड इंटरनेशनल प्रिजेन्स गोल्ड स्टार को लिमिटेड ब्रांड अवेरनेस रिमिटेड मार्केटिंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन चैनल गोल्ड स्टार ने इंटरनेशनल मार्केट में कंपिट कर सकि रखेन रिपेन्डेन्सी अन नेशनल मार्केट गोल्ड स्टार को सिक्सटी पर्सेंट भाग बड़ी मार्केट ने डिपेन्ड होने रोदर इज डिफिकल्ट लोजिस्टिक लैंडलग कंट्री भर कारण गोल्ड स्टार ने ट्रांसपोर्टेशन में धेरे खर्च र टाइम भी धीरे दिवे आई वुड लाइक टू कल माई फ्रेंड प्रकाश कंसकर थैंक यू थैंक यू Moving on to opportunities, Golsar faces uh, Golsar explore, Golsar can explore untapped markets, foreign markets, through countries such as Africa, where the where the Africa's local needs meets the Golsar's main tagline, which is affordability and durability. Golsar can uh, craft or carve a niche in luxury shoe market by utilizing Nepalese craftsmanship, incorporating the mofits of floras, faunas, and cultural elements. Golsan can also take inspiration from various artistic styles such as thangkas and pobas. And after manufacturing all these artistic elements, Golsan can explore or expand its marketing opportunities, particularly in China, where there is demand of such high-quality products. And moving on to trades, uh, Golsan faces a sig significant trade from illegally smuggled products such as counterfeit products of various international brands. Intense competition from both local brands such as Yolo, Calibor, and Kosevi, as well as other international brands, also creates a significant hindrance to Goldstar's stability and economic uncertainty, as well as trade barriers, uh, makes Goldstar difficult for its foreign exports as well. I would like to call Vivek for final part. So for the re recommendation part, as uh, Prokas mentioned earlier, we can take inspiration from this beautiful and intricate art form of Nepal, such as Pauba and Thanga. And by incorporating these very elements in production of the shoes would help Gold Star to create premium products. And especially the products like these, we we've also actually made some prototypes as well. So these are the products that we'd like to suggest to Gold Star by incorporating such beautiful art forms into the shoes. But we should be mindful for not including the, the deities at it, as it might hamper the religious sentiments as well. So by utilizing this, this art form, Gold Star can carve a uh, niche for itself in the market and also it, this can be exported uh, it can also be exported to china as well so this would also mean that it has uh, created a new market for itself uh, especially the growing market of china and it also has to advocate with its industry peers against the illegal smuggling and also collaborate with industry okay, peers okay we Thank stop you. it right now and we begin with the question and answer round thank you for your amazing presentation thank you and i really love that <laughs> <laughs> prototype. So, uh, my question is actually my previous uh, last weekend question as well. Since the, you are talking about international expansion, so did you get to know like what is their uh, production capability of five manufacturing in Nepal and one manufacturing center in India? Did you get to? Know yes. That? So the actual the manufacturing capacity is seventy-five thousand per per Nepal, and they uh, produce around twenty thousand of shoes, especially in just one manufacturing in India, since it's, it has a huge market in India. So that is the question. It's answer. Sorry. So, so total like seventy-five thousand of the production per. Oh, just in Nepal only. That is just in Nepal. It's so it's just in Nepal. Yeah, yeah. And now, since it is again, it's talking about the expansion and all. So, did you get to know about what's their like future like? Because you know that they are manufacturing in India. So, is there any further plan of expansion of? other manufacturing centers and okay well since the indian market is not performing as much well as it used to because of as i mentioned the after the earthquake it has slowed down so they don't they don't plan to any uh, you know for, further establish any more plans but they are uh, wanting to expand it to different foreign countries such as china such as us so this is expanded to for the other countries except india for now thank you thank you okay very good presentation thank, thank you, you so much for this right so my question is right as you have said that this uh, brand is really getting popular do you do have a 70000 75000 pairs of production and you people are planning for export as well but in the case study there are some weaknesses what you have shown is like uh, say limited international presence dependency on national market and i think in last saturday you have used the word of maoist at the time that there's a really high turnover of this kind of right yeah. so if there is a lack of international presence and dependence on the national market how we can go 
beyond the local market. So, well, I think a limited industrial presence is an opportunity for Gold Star, and because of they have just just explored the market. So, for that, for the exploring the market and to make sure that we export these products to the foreign market, I think that's an opportunity for Gold Star. And with the premium products like these, and with especially innovation and just incorporating these artistic elements, especially for premium products, which the foreigners are just able to pay. I mean, because they are the country with higher income, right? Even the luxury market in China is increasing. So, so because of this particular reason, it can expand in the foreign market, and I think that uh, sums it up. Thank you. All right. Um, thank you. And um, Gold Star definitely is one of my favorite brands when it comes to shoes. Zutta bani, any Gold Star, Tsapal bani, any magic is what I have in my mind. Um, quick question, two questions again. One, if you have to diagnose another business again instead of Gold Star, what are the five key things that you'd like to um, see into, look into? in analyzing or diagnosing any other business. Um, second question, who do you see as one of the biggest competitors for Gold Star in the Nepalese market? Thank you. Thank you, sir. So firstly, I'd like to answer the second question because it's very short. So uh, for now, I think Seeker Shoes and the emerging shoes such as, uh, as, as you mentioned, YOLO and uh, which was Calibre, right? So, so these are the competition, the emerging competition, because they have also used innovation to create their products. So these are, were the competitions. And uh, so answering your first question, uh, I would love to do a case study on brand which has uh, impacted uh, the world uh, market and which the, the kind of uh, brands which has a presence not just in Nepal, but also in the foreign countries. And I'd love to do a case study maybe on YY and maybe on other creative, um, not, not, not exactly creative, but uh, the uh, uh, brands actually which have expanded into the foreign market as well. Uh, so yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, thank you. The first question I was asking, Kiki Kuratsai um, use what you like to diagnose? What are, what would be the things that you would do to diagnose a business to analyze a business? Uh, well, I think firstly to find out how uh, they have impacted the community and uh, also to know about uh, what were the problems that they faced and how they solved the problems particularly to, to, to make sure what, uh, what they've achieved uh, and also uh, see the, uh, like, like we use the establishment an uh, analysis to uh, get more insight about the company. So we'd also use this uh, thing as well. Uh, and also uh, what uh, sort of, uh, you know, uh, future uh, prospect that company has. So I'd, I'd also look uh, at uh, that element as well. So these are the things that we look. Thank you.